Good morning, um, or whatever time you're watching this. Today is, let's see, December 18th, and it's uh, 8.29 a.m. And today, I'm just super excited because uh, Monday is my last, not last day, it's my last work day before I take a break and take a couple of days off besides what the uh, city has already given us. But um, take a couple of days off and enjoy my family and just enjoy the break. Not, I'm gonna try my best not to talk about basketball. Um, we're in my shed, my garden shed. I enjoy it. It's a, a peaceful space. I still don't know what I'm gonna do like to beautify that, but it's a garden shed, so I guess we'll leave it as is. It's clean and it's spacious in here otherwise. Um, gonna hang my picture up and this up over here. This is where I'll come in and if I have my keys on my phone, I'll just mount it up on that. I have the remote for my light that's up on top. All right, oops. I want to share this with y'all. So, let me see if I can turn my iPad. Hold on. I want to share this with y'all because I find that documentation and writing things down for me works. So I'm gonna have two modes of um, journaling. One is digital and one will be, I'll have like a little notepad in here and the pen, I'll make that area really cute um my office but what i found is um so earlier earlier in the fall my sister and i decided we were going to journal or document have a planner and so we downloaded respect on our own respective ipads or whatever um an app called good notes we also went on to Etsy and we downloaded a um, another PDF, another form of, um, what's the word I want to use? Like a planner, a digital planner. The one platform we had, but it was just too much going on. Uh, there were too many pages, too many pages within pages. It was just a lot and I kind of lost interest in it. I downloaded another planner, um, Flourish. I've been watching some of her videos even before I downloaded this other, um, before I downloaded the first planner. And I was like, you know what? I'll get Flourish. Um, there are a million, like so many videos where people use it Flourish. The other planner I had, not too many people were using it. I couldn't find any um, YouTubers who were using it and can vouch for this other planner that I originally had. It's a nice planner. I'm not going to throw any company under the bus. It just didn't work for me. So I've been using, I don't know if we can see, I've been using here on my, uh, let me just go out. Oh my gosh, where am I? 
Okay, no, I am at the homepage. So I've been using, I'm sorry, it's on my night screen. Um, Flourish along with my good notes. And there's a podcast stir, well, a podcast that I listen to, um, Melissa K. Norris, and I purchased the book from her. And I saw that she has a family crop planner, which you can see how many crops you can grow for your, how many seeds or whatever you can, you will need to grow to feed your family or a family, uh, family garden, uh, planning guide. Mm -hmm. This is it right here. And, um, I'm sorry if it's shaking. I'm moving my, what you call it? I'm moving my, what's this called? Tripod. Anyway, I'm sorry, shaking. So what I did was I uploaded the PDF. It, it was free. I uploaded it and I imported it into my planner, which allowed me, instead of having it on paper to print, which allowed me to write my own notes. So here, let me turn the camera around. So here I can just uh, journal my garden zone, last average frost date, first average frost date, growing season, annual vegetables that grow easily in my area. I just put these in. I'm not finished yet. And so I just like the fact that with good notes, I'm able to import a document and write it as a journal um, digit digitally. Uh, I'll scroll down here, but this is just a quick run through as to how it's set up. And it tells you, all right, for, let me see. Uh, like for sweet potatoes, it says five plants per person. I mean, I have four children. Technically, we're a family of six, but one moved out. So five times five is how many um, tomato plants I would need or sweet potato plants I would need per person. And that will help me so much um, when it comes to planting. But this is what I like the most. So for this area, for the Garden of um, Jubilee, where I want to donate from, it helped me like document or be able to write down, okay, I want to try to feed at least a family of five. So I would need approximately 50 corn seeds in this area, 50 peas or what. It just, it's just helpful instead of planting two or three seeds at a time. Um, yeah, so this is what this uh, document is. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I'm never sponsored by anyone. I'm not like advertising. I'm just showing you, oops, sorry. I'm just showing you guys what I found, what I discovered and what's beneficial and what helps me, especially now that I want to grow more and do more, grow more for me and my family and grow more for another family, which is what that fat garden is for. Up here, I'll modify some things also. Um, I know I got a green stalk planter for Christmas. I don't know what color it is, so that'll be a surprise. And I cannot wait to set it up. And also, I cannot wait for them to go back on sale again and purchase another one. I already know I'm going to be in love with it. Um, that's it for now. If you have um, any questions or anything that um, I may have glazed over you want more detail about just let me know in the comments i'll be happy to get back to you uh i do have a new dig box that did come in yesterday but i will not open it until christmas morning and i will do an unboxing along with my green stalk so that'll be its own video on christmas um but that's it. I'm going to go finish doing my chores. Thank you for joining me. Pay it forward and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.